The state chief housing officer, Nani Medeiros, is set to step down, according to a statement by Governor Josh Green. He says Nani Medeiros is a truly compassionate person who has worked tirelessly to help create novel solutions to house the homeless and build affordable homes in Hawaii, only to face a barrage of personal attacks in person and on social media. He says the bullying tactics that she was subjected to have no place in Hawaii and are absolutely contrary to our spirit of aloha. In case you're wondering who Nani is, let me just explain real quick. Nani is the state's first chief housing officer. Nani Mendoros and her team have worked on various projects to protect and provide affordable housing statewide. For the past few months, the team has been primarily focused on developing the governor's emergency proclamation relating to housing. This work involves speaking with hundreds of stakeholders statewide to identify redundancies and bottlenecks within the affordable housing approval process. The mainstream news wants you to believe that she was bullied online and that's the reason why she resigned. The truth is, she resigned because she was under investigation by the people because she's an unelected official, not by the people. Two names I'd like to name for you, Leonard Nakwara III, Daniel Palakiko, Tom Kaufman. Can you Louis. go a little bit slower because I'm going to write it down. Oh, you actually have a copy of this. This is a lawsuit that was put on you yesterday at 4.35 p.m. Oh, thank it's you. It's a quorum okay. rental that's supposed to be limiting your powers questioning the validity of this entire group so i just want to go ahead and, and uh, come forward with this oral intervention we the people are present you cannot shut us out of this meeting just because we're not a part of this working group we are the majority stakeholders of these lands corpus juris secundum page 340 volume book 38a page 340 right column when the de jure when the de jure people are present the de facto which is all of you, must step down. You need to hear the people when the people come forward, and you need to give the people a seat, not just this group on this table. Fourth and fifth branches of government, because I, I hear in this quarter rental that you guys are a deliberative assembly. Right here in the, in the first, uh, the third line, second page of this quarter rental that was delivered to you guys yesterday. Respondent Build Beyond Barriers Working Group acts as a deliberative assembly established by the governor of the state of Hawaii, known as the Working Group. There is a de jure grand jury and assembly present, which is the fourth and fifth branch of government. And you guys do not supersede that fourth and fifth branch of government. So you need to keep in mind of the level of law in this land. You are outside of jurisdiction. This meeting has no standing and your assembly is out of authority. You are being investigated right now by the Second Circuit Court. There is judges who have signed off on this and you still hold this meeting without Lahaina present. People from Lahaina sent you this quota rental, yet you still feel like it's okay to sit here and talk about programs and housing and how much money you guys lost. Moving people out of Lahaina to Keau how is that okay? This is not even a state issue. This is a Maui County issue. This meeting should be held in Maui. Not here. Not with all of you in the state level. County supersedes the state level. Sister, you look a little confused. County supersedes the state level. The leadership has been contracted verbally from your boss, Joshua B. Green, to the people of Lahaina. You guys are supposed to be following the leadership of the people. You said that in this meeting. He sat there and reiterated it. Yet, the working group Luckily, you said we have public testimony. I don't know if we'll have it at the next meeting. But only you guys can sit at this table. You got to bring Lahaina in, and this is why this meeting should be held there, so the people of that land can be there for that meeting. As far as the people see it, you have no authority. You have zero standing because the major constitutional violations within 127A, this meeting does not stand as valid, and you have no authority, Nani, to do what you guys are doing here. Take the meeting back to the county of Maui, please. That's actually, that's not even a request. That's a demand from the people. Take this back to Maui County. Let Maui deal with it. Hello. Everyone in this meeting, including Nani, is unelected by the people. Hawaii Governor Josh Green made an emergency proclamation that he claims is for homelessness, but then he also used it for the fire. Josh Green visited Maui the next day after the tragedy. And then when he came back, he issued the fifth emergency proclamation, which suspends regular laws of the land. As the third largest stakeholders, the state do want that land and can take it when you deem it a natural disaster. And that is disgusting. 
And that is why I'm also here today, because someone needs to call that out. We wanted the samples right away. You guys stopped the people from going in. If you read this right here, it says that Josh Green has additional powers in an emergency period. He can do construction, renovation, and he doesn't have to go through the legal process that you normally would. And he even admits it. Governor Josh Green had to say, along with the FEMA director, about preserving Lahaina moving forward. I'm already thinking about ways for the state to acquire that land so that we can put it into workforce housing, to put it back into families, or to make it open spaces in perpetuity as a memorial to people who were lost. We want this to be something that we remember uh, after the pain passes uh, as a magic place. And Lahaina will rebuild. The tragedy right now is the loss of life. Uh, Josh Green's Build Beyond Barriers group says everything in the name itself. They're trying to build where they can't. One of the reasons why they can't build is because of historical laws. And that's the very law that gets suspended when he deems a natural disaster or an emergency. And if you know the history of Lahaina Town, it's the very first capital of Hawaii. And we haven't even got into how the fire started, why the police were blocking traffic, why the firefighters didn't have water, why does the news report that the power lines down is what started the fire, when the power company says that the power was off that day. Why weren't the sirens used? The guy responsible for that resigned and he also wasn't even on Maui when this fire happened. With all of these things added up, it paints a picture and we all should be questioning this. And I... 100% know with every fiber of my being that this was not a natural disaster. This was a planned attack. There are many, many, I mean, it's a one plus one plus one equals three equation. You cannot call me a conspiracy theorist for being a critical thinker. Did you know that the CIA, the corrupt CIA, invented the words conspiracy theorist as a way to gaslight people for speaking up on the truth? I am here to protect the Mother Earth where I came from. I don't care that I was born in Maui, okay? This is about the living earth and the people with good hearts, okay? This is not about division, this is about unity, and this is about coming together and fighting for the rights of the people. Climate change does not exist. You guys are modifying our weather, okay? Excuse you me, are, okay, no. I, I, I appreciate your comments again, I do, but we really need to stick to the items on the agenda. It is 1110. I don't care about your agenda. You know what? Your agenda can kiss my ass, okay? Your agenda can literally okay. kiss my butt. Yeah, we're done, okay. we're done. Oh. We have a...